so I figured that I'd take the time to show a few different components that I have for my modular Surefire type light. Well, it started out as a Surefire light, but it's gone so far beyond that that I'm not sure it's really appropriate to continue calling it a Surefire light. Although it's still definitely based on the same platform. <coughs> if you had a Surefire light, say, a C2 and a Z41 twisty. You probably have the stuck P60 drop in, puts out 60 lumens, uses 6 volts, so two of these guys, two 3 volt uh, primary cells. And I don't actually know what I've done with my. Uh, Z44 head, so we'll just pretend. So you got, you know, this all put together with a head. You're putting out about 60 lumens. Now, on the same size, you could have this. This has a zero res twisty, which means it's basically a big chunk of brass where the normal twisty device used to be. This is actually a Surefire tail cap. It's just been um, hard anodized. It actually came with type 2 anodization. This is a TL65 body made by Torch Lab, sold through OverReady. And it's been made specifically to accommodate 18650s, or you could use two of those. They might rattle a little bit, so I don't know, wrap some electrical tape around them or something. Or uh, you could use 16340s, which are rechargeable batteries that are this size, but put out 4.2 volts uh, max charge, as opposed to the 3 volts that those put out when they're brand new. Or um, I think they're called 18340s or 18350s, something, something along those lines. It's a, a cell that's the same length as that, but um, it's 18 millimeters in diameter instead of 16 millimeters in diameter. Holds a you know a bigger charge and it can handle higher uh, amperages. Now, something kind of neat about this uh, particular head, this is um, Ronax uh, Cryos cooling head sold through OverReady. He actually designed this to uh, dissipate heat faster for the higher power drop-ins that you find these days. I mean honestly I don't think I even care if it dissipates heat faster or not. It's just so cool looking. <laughs> just have to have it anyway. This is the version 2 triple XPG head made by Madu of Torch Labs, sold through OverReady. The reason I went with the version 2 actually uh, took a lot of extra time to find one was because I like to run my flashlights on a single 18650 cell which is like this. So that's what's in here right now, an 18650. And uh, if you ripped apart a laptop, you'd get about eight or nine of these, but they would be in protected cells. These are, of course, AW cells, um, which means they have a, a really nice protection circuit. I believe that's this section right here. Uh, prevents you from overcharging or over-discharging the battery. You can see it's uh, 2,900 milliamp hours. That means it uh, has quite a large capacity. 18650s have been going up quite a bit lately, as far as um, the capacity that they can store. So that's my favorite type of battery, and that's why I went with this direct drive triple XPG. The version two, I'm very sure it's an awesome drop-in, but um, it's meant for two lithium-ion cells as opposed to the single cell operation. So, here is Amadou TL34, which is actually meant for batteries this size. So you'd use a 16 340 or an 18 340. Just like that. And you might notice this doesn't have the normal um, bulge here at the end, like the Surefire lights have, that actually accommodate the drop-in. That's because um, Torch Labs has their own head 
that screws right on here. And that has, uh, at this time, it has a triple XVG in there. Although it looks like, you know, they could, they could come up with any sort of head that they wanted. You could hot swap them, unscrew one head, and screw on a different kind. Say you wanted range instead of flood. So I'll try firing this up. I mean, my camera auto adjusts, so it's hard to get any sort of idea of you know what this thing's capable of. But whereas this puts out about 60 lumens, the same size. This has been independently tested to put out 1,260 lumens. That's 1,200 lumens more than this, with no increase in size. That is impressive. Just a quick note, this thing here is um, its own separate piece of hard anodized aluminum. It unscrews from the top. I could screw it onto this. It would accept any P60 size drop in at that point. And because of the novel way that it is designed, it actually can adjust based on the length of the, the drop in that you're putting in there to ensure that there's no gap between uh, the head and the body. But with this, um, this particular head actually has an overlap where the thread stops somewhere around here and then the aluminum, the hard anodized aluminum comes down past that and uh, would also cover any gap. So you've got double gap coverage running a setup like this. Just uh, briefly mention this. This is a uh, this is just a red filter that you could use with a regular Z44 bezel. It won't work with um, the cooling bezel. Although Surefire makes these in various sizes, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that one of the larger sizes probably fit this decently well. Another quick note, this actually isn't stuck twisty. It just looks like it. this is uh, another one that's been modded by Overready. They uh, hard anodized this one, Type 3 and uh, replace the stock twisty with a McClicky. The McClicky is a really nice, really reliable clicky device. The only reason I don't have it on this slide is because it's not really meant for the higher amps that this drop-in is going to pull, 5 plus amps. So, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for checking it out.